Welcome, I'm your host, Logan World 3 You're joining me for Bloodbound Book 1, Chapter 11, The Dam. After escaping the feral attack of the bull, you and Lily have taken refuge with Jax in the Shadow Den. Following a warm welcome, you, Jax, and Lily all meet up in the central square of the underground village. Oh good, you're back. I hope you weren't waiting long. Did you get fed? Not yet. I tried, but there was a long line, and... I don't want to butt in. Plus, everyone was, like, glaring at me. The residents here take a, a bit hostile to outsiders. I'll make sure you get your chance to feed. Thanks. Jax looks around and you follow his gaze, noting a few scattered vampires eyeing you uneasily. I take it you... I, I should take both of you on a tour of the den, but Lily's outfit is a bit... Conspicuous. Uh, please, let's change. Corsets are awesome, but also, I like breathing. <laughs> Follow me. I know a place. Yes, they limit your breathing, but they're so... He leads you down an alleyway off the main part of the den. You round a corner and see an older woman sitting on a stool, sewing, a pipe dangling between her lips. Elena, I hope I'm not interrupting something important. Of course not. Always happy to see you, Jax. She said submits piles of old clothes, sorted by color and fabric type. These two are my friends. As you can tell, they're in some need of some more appropriate clothes. I'm a fraction of a second away from running around in my underwear. I... Can we watch? <laughs> Do you have something they could wear? Elena shrugs and gestures to a few racks of clothes behind her. Go on, take your pick. Lily grabs an outfit and ducks around a corner. She comes back a few minutes later wearing a new outfit and grinning. Well, not bad. Damn. You won't have any problems fitting in. That outfit looks like it was made for you. I know, right? It's kind of weird to say, but you guys really seem like my kind of people. What about you, Amy? You pick up one outfit that looks just right. Oh! Oh! Um, what? Sorry, distracted. What? Um... Wow. Leather and Lace, the perfect mix of feminine and fierce. Grrr. You are so wrong. And so right at the same time. No thanks. I'm... It's not really me. I think I'll stick with my current look. The stairs and all. Nothing's wrong with the t-shirt. Even though it's a little oversized. Up to you. Elena clears her throat. I'm glad you like the clothes, but we have a saying in the Shadow Den. It goes... Pay me. Oh. Um. We don't have any money on us. Elena squints at the fancy dress Lily took off. She rubs the fabric of the skirt between her fingers. This is some material. I wouldn't be adverse to a trade. Uh, Lily, you okay with that? Like, I'm gonna have another occasion to wear that. My social season isn't exactly packed with Dematon balls. She pushes the mass of tulle, lace, and brocade in her arms. It's all yours, and thank you, Elena. Seriously. My pleasure. Okay, you two. Let's go. You wave goodbye to Elena as Jax leads you deeper into the narrow side alley. You soon see you're headed towards a massive vault blocked off by four hulking guards. Through the gate between them, you see the glitter of gold. Uh, what's that? That's the repository. Repository, my ass. I know a treasure vault when I see one. Are there, like, goblins we should be worried about? Or, or like, a, a droll British dragon? Uh, nothing that exciting. Uh, Prohibition-era bootleggers stash their loot down here. And what? These are their gold bricks? Somehow I find that hard to believe. Jack gestures to the guards who step aside, letting you in. Your jaw drops open as you take it all in. You see a mountain upon mountains of gold bars, stacks of cash, paintings, books, a huge blood-red diamond. I know how this looks. I touched the dam the day of 
cave collapses, and we all have to escape on a magic carpet. No, that's just the lamp we were going for. Oh, wait. No, Abu did take a diamond. It wasn't blood red, but yeah. Seriously, what's up with this place? Let me explain something about the economy of the Shadow Den. It's not exactly easy to make money when you have to abandon your life, when you can't go above the surface without risking death. Not a lot of job opportunities for the clanless, especially not with the clans running most of the city's industries. Makes sense. Most people still want to live. We need money for supplies, weapons, money to buy safe houses, and money to find clanless in harm's way. So we run a little business of our own, the repossession business. You're talking about smuggling. What? No. This look like a dock to you. The Never mind. I just thought... I think the Jacks meant was that they're thieves, and some pretty high-end ones from the looks of it. We only take from the clans. I figure that's fair. They're the reason we have to live here in the first place. They might as well pay for the cost. And the clans are all rich as hell. I guess that's true. I bet they don't even notice when it goes missing. What about the Baron? Doesn't he run crime? The Baron and I have an arrangement. Oh! That's interesting because the Baron wants to wipe you the fuck out. Wow, really? Huh. Or is his fuel to burn you the hell out? Possibly covering the fact you both had a deal. Interesting. Jax! What do you want me to do? Leave my people out in the cold? I don't take anything from the Baron's clan, and he looks the other way when we fence our goods. Everybody wins. If he found out you were the one who got me out of his club? Yeah, well, he won't. I get why you're doing this, but you do what you have to do. I'm glad you see it that way. I'd love a life where I didn't have to steal to survive, but the vampire that turned me took that choice away. The case is the same for everyone here. I'll do whatever I must to protect them. Desperate times. Exactly. Now, come on. There's plenty more to see. Some of it far less controversial. I don't blame him, really. Jax leads you through some curtains into a large tented hall with a circular stage, and at the center of it, all the seats are empty. A woman dressed in cabaret outfit rehearses a routine with an oversized feather fan at the center stage. A strip club? For real. A more vaudeville and burlesque. This is just rehearsal. The woman shouts up to someone in the lighting booth. I need a pin light on my neck for the final reveal. That's the climax for the whole shebang. That's Liv. She's a performer, but she also basically runs the theater. Liv spots Jax, then and waves to him. Hey, Jaxie. Who's the new girls? They need a gig? Uh, they're just visiting. Oh, must be nice. Wow, you turn nice to bitch in like two seconds flat. Her smile turns cold, and she turns back to the stage to finish her rehearsal. Then the MC says, Give it up for Liv, your own girl, Nyx, Jor, yada yada. I don't think she likes us. Uh, Liv's had a tough time. She has some complicated feelings about being here. How do you mean? She was pretty popular performer as a mortal, a leading force in the burlesque revival a few years ago. Oh, right, yeah. I was wondering why she looked so familiar. You went to her show? Don't look so shocked. Burlesque is classy, Amy. Get with the program. Yeah. Classy. I'm just staring at the screen right now. Just, okay. I don't know what classy means to folks anymore. She was turned before her act could really get off the ground. She had a stalker, a vampire, in one of the clans. He ambushed her after a show one night, tried to kidnap her, she fought back, so he turned her and left her to become a feral. Oh my god. That's awful. I took her in, helped her get through it. 
He looks towards the stage and Zaz. But she doesn't want to be here. She's not a rebel or a fighter. What does she want? The one thing she can't have. Her life back. But... Who turned her? Did you ever find him? I did, but... He's one of Priya's clan. One of her closest confidants. If I killed him, she wouldn't rest until I was dead. Justice has to wait for another day. As usual. Anyway, rehearsal's almost over. Jax leads you to, to talk to Liv as she gets off stage. Liv, this is Amy and Lily. Nice to meet you. Are you going to act nice now or cold like a... A real pleasure. She nods politely. Hello. I hope we can see your act sometime. It looks great. Well, thank you. It keeps me going, and I wouldn't be doing it without my Jaxie. She gives Jax a big hug, grinning from ear to ear. He was the one who got me back on my feet. Without him, I'd, well, I don't know. She smiles, but you can see the pain beneath him. I hope you... Uh, know how important your work is. Your community really needs you. Her face softens as she gives you a genuine smile. Thank you, dear. I'm curious if your act has changed much since you've gotten down here. Burlesque is all about the tease. What you don't show. It used to be my body. Now it's a little further north. She runs a finger along her neck, slow and seductive. Whoa. Fridays and Saturdays, 2 and 4 a.m. Uh, we'll be back if we can. Thanks, Liv. As he leads you out of the club and down another side alley, you pass groups of residents huddled together in a semi-darkness. Pass a large wall plaster with photos of the Shadow Den residents. What's this? That's the Wall of the Fallen. All the clanless we've lost over the years, the ones who went fair, all the ones the clan's gone. The three of you stop to look at the faces of the men and women of all ages, races, and genders. And children. Too many children. So many. You put an arm around her and she nuzzles into your shoulder, turning her face away. Jax, I know it's important to remember them, but it must be hard to pass by here all the time. It's a necessary path. It reminds me of why I'm doing this. It makes me fight harder every day to keep my... keep new faces from appearing here. Jax... Hmm... This is a tough choice. I'll try to get the Council's help. There has to be a way to stop all of this. Look, it's sweet to offer, but I'm gone down that road, and there's nothing but darkness and death. Too many of them hate our kind. Too many of them would love to just burn a place like this to the ground. It's not something I want to ha happen, but if it does, my people will be ready for it. The three of you keep walking back towards the main square of the Shadow Den. Up ahead, you can hear people shouting and clatter sticks and clangs of blades. Combat training. Whoa, sounds like a soundtrack to Braveheart minus the music bar. We hold regular training sessions so that our residents are prepared. You see a group of people wielding wooden swords and practicing their strikes on combat dummies. Just in case. In case of what? In case the Shadow Den is discovered. Or one of us turns feral. Or in case the Council decides it's time to purge us, once and for all. The combat class ends and the participants drift away from the square. One guy beelines towards Jax, a broad grin on his face. What's up, Jax? Griff, I'd like you to meet my friends Amy and Lily. Amy, Lily, Griff heads up weapons acquisition. He's one of our more outspoken members. Damn, how is it you just happen to be friends with every hot, clanless girl? We're not actually hot, huh? Don't us underestimate yourself. No, we're not clanless. Oh, 
Now what are you doing here? They are friends of mine, allies of our cause. And Lily's newly turned to the Reigns clan, and Amy's not turned and works for Reigns Corp. His friendly demeanor has vanished, and he glowers at you both. I see. Um, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. That what you're doing? gonna tell your pretty boy boss? Excuse me? He can help you. Bull. I'm serious. He cares about the clan loss. He can listen and help. He might well be your only hope. He can put in a word to the council, convince them to let you in. Once he knows how Jax helped us, once he knows what it's really like for all of you, he... Screw him! Screw your council! Those decrepit jerks aren't going to help us, and I won't he take their help even if they offered. He rolls his wrist, his wooden sword twirling elegantly. This ain't just about saving our skins, it's about making them pay for everything they've done. Ease up, Griff. He glances at Lily, raising the wooden blade menacingly. Maybe we ought to start killing clan vampires, newly turned ones. Now that'll get their attention. Wait, what? Um, I'd prefer if we didn't do that. I said back off, Griff, I mean it. Griff glares at him and lowers the blade. Yeah, whatever. You're not the target anyway. No one should be the target. More conflict isn't going to solve anything. You can't go after the clans. Why the hell not? Mm. Because there is a peaceful resolution. No, there isn't. The sooner you learn that, the better. Well, I'm still going to try. If you had one thing you'd like to convey to the council members, what would it be? Why don't you tell them to enjoy their last days, because we're coming for them. Griff hurls a sword like a sphere, driving it straight into a target dummy's chest several yards away. See you around. He stalks off, leaving you, Jax, and Lily to ponder his words. So, he's decidedly not my fave. I apologize for Griff, that was unpleasant, even for him. I assure you it's not personal. There's a lot of resentment when it comes to the clans. The clan will see this place as their sanctuary. Having a clan vampire here makes them feel threatened. That's an understatement. I think we've had enough exploration. Lily, you're still hungry? Unbearably. Then let's get you fed. Jax leads you and Lily towards the center of the den, in an elegantly canopy tent. Inside the feeding lounge, you see a room full of humans sitting quietly on couches and floor pillows allowing themselves to feed upon vampires. Who are all these people? Some are drifters. Some just looking for a place to stay. Others are volunteers, good Samaritans, folks sympathetic to our cause. You see Lily's eyes light up at the exposed necks, at the dripping blood. She licks her lips hungrily. Oh my god, I'm starving. No problem, Lily. We'll get you a donor in a mi Before he can finish, Lily is already moving, her hunger consuming her. Lily! She bolts across the room to where an older female vampire is latched onto a neck of a lanky guy with a skateboard propped up next to him. Move! Lily pushes the vampire woman off the couch, causing the woman's teeth to tear open the skin of the skater guy's neck as she falls away. A thin trickle of blood streaks down. Ugh! Lily, hey, be gentle. Lily turns to you, and you see a look on her face you've never seen before. Her eyes are glassy, her smile superficial. Don't worry, Amy. Everything is fine. I'm just hungry. She firmly grasps the skate punk by the shoulders and lunges forward, sinking her teeth deeply into his neck. Oh! Jax, there's... Something's not right about her. The young man thrashes in Lily's grip as she drinks deeply, wildly, her eyes burning red. What's happening? Bloodlust. Lily's jaw almost seems to unhinge, allowing her fangs to sink deeper into the boy's neck. Well, please! Enough. Jax lunges forward, grabbing Lily and tears her away from the skater. You're gonna kill him. Don't touch me! 
The young man, Woozy, scrambles out from under Lily and runs away, blood streaming out of the gash in his neck. Other humans begin to scream and scatter. The vampires in charge alone rush around, trying to regain control. Snap out of it! Get out of my way! With a growl, Lily shoves Jax aside and rushes after the fleeing humans. She grabs a young woman running, pulling her on her hair, but Jax is stronger, faster. She, he grabs Lily by the wrist and jerks her up, slamming her against a wall and holding her there. The young woman takes his chance to break free and scamper away. Get everyone out of here now! The vampires escort all the humans out as Lily thrashes and fights against Jax's grip. Get a hold of yourself! I need to feed. I need it. Jax. Don't let her go. I'm trying. She's incredibly strong. The adrenaline. Only lunges forward, snapping at him, but Jax dodges, holding her in place. Calm down. Listen to my voice. Jax pulls her forward, wrapping his arms around her and guiding her to the ground. No! No! Leave me! Come on. Calm down. Shh. I'm trying to remember what Scarlett Johansson said to the Hulk. The sun's setting, big guy. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to remember from Deadpool 2, too. Because they use that joke. All around you, the room is empty. Silent still. As Jax holds Lily and whispers to her, she begins to relax. Slowly, her breath starts to slow, and the red seep from her eyes. I... I can't believe you did that. She'll be all right now. Jax sets Lily down on a couch, his arms still around her. She cradles her head under her hands and stares at the floor, breathing hard. Lily, are you okay? I... Uh, I don't know. She'll be fine. Bloodlust can be triggered if we get too hungry. It's especially easy for the younger victim vampires to succumb to it. Lily, look at me. You hold... Uh, put a hand up on Lily's shoulder and she shrugs it off. <sighs> Feels like my body is burning, my head's spinning. You're okay. We're here. Lily gets up and paces, drawing in a few deep breaths. You see her eyes slowly losing that glassy stare. Good, good. I just need... What if I do it? Lily perks up and Jax looks to you, expression torn, and leans in to speak to you quietly. It's risky. She might lose control again. I'm okay with the risk. You're brave. I'm loyal. It's your choice. Lily watches as you slowly pull down your collar, exposing the side of your neck. In a flash, she's sitting by your side, her fingers tracing your jugular. Jax watches tensely, ready to stop her if necessary. And we're all just sitting here going, mm. Just go slow, Lil. I... I will. Hey. Lily pauses and looks at you. I love you. I want to help you, okay? Yeah, okay. She gently puts her fangs on your neck and presses into your and into you until they break the skin. Ready? You nod. She pushes forward, a sharp pain flares through you, and then slowly melts into a dull ache, laced with warmth and connection. Mm. Lily's head tilts just slightly, sending another jolt through your body. You reach down and take Lily's hand, squeezing it tight. Lil, that... I... Lily pulls away. A look of total bliss on her face. Her tongue runs over her lips, caressing her fangs. Mm, that was something else. She slumps back down, hands running over her thighs. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I am. We are all purely innocent, aren't we? You glance over and notice Jax sitting tense, staring at your neck. Oh, would you like a bite too? Oh, sorry, the blood. I I didn't think you'd. Your voice catches as his eyes travel the length of your body, admiring your curves. He's looking at you for more than blood right now, honey. 
I certainly wouldn't say no to anything you'd offer. Me neither, to either of you. Oh my. This could go so many places! The wood between Wool Jacks and Lily, the hair around you feels electrified as you see the same hunger lingering in both of their eyes. Oh, it does go that way! Oh! <laughs> mm. Okay. <clears throat> I need to work on a diamond edition. At least I gotta finish uh, with It Lives in the Woods, so that's one I gotta get done. He glance away from Jax, he clears his throat, coming back to himself. Of course, I need to go make sure everyone's okay. He slips out of the room, adjusting his collar. Sorry, I hope I didn't make that weird. Oh no. But what I wanted was far more weird. <laughs> Focus! Focus, locum. Not at all. Do you want a little more? Yes, please. She leans forward, biting you again, more gently this time. She's warm and close, almost a part of you, and you squeeze her hand tight. Finally, after a long while, Lily sits up again, practically gasping for air. That good, huh? That was... intimate. Yeah, I know. Could you do the thing? You point at your neck, and Lily nods, pricking her finger to heal your wound. Are you okay? Yeah. Tired, but... I'm so glad you're you again. Me too. Thank you. We both lay back on the pillows, exhausted and deeply relaxed. Do you think we have time for a little nap? Uh, sure hope so, because if I didn't know any better, I think I was already asleep. Lily cuddles up against you, looking up into your eyes. This whole vampire world, it's scary and violent and so overwhelming, I want to scream. I'm so happy you're here for me. You squeeze her tighter. We can face anything, as long as we're together. Damn right. You nestle into each other, and soon you're drifting off to sleep. Poor Jax. Poor, poor Jax. I'm just saying it. We could have had fun. Mm. <laughs> but Adrian, though. I mean, what? Um, you wake up a little while later, snuggled up next to Lily. You look over to see Jax sitting in a nearby chair, lost in thought. I bet he is. Jax, is everything... Suddenly, you hear shouting from outside. What's going on? Jax runs out of the feeding lounge, and you follow. People are running towards the den's entrance, which appears to be the source of the commotion. Jax grabs Griff's arm as he sprints past. What is it? A council member's been caught in the tunnels. This is war. War! You, Jax, and Lily rush over, pushing through the angry crowd. A group of guards walks forward, holding a bound figure between them. Oh! <gasps> Camila! Don't you dare her don't you dare touch a hair on her head. Camila? Kill her now! No, you ain't killing shit, son. I will put you down. Don't you dare. She probably sensed Um uh, Lily's bloodlust and came to try and tame her or control her. And she had to find her way to Lily, but by then it was probably too late. Um, wow, okay, with that, for, uh, with that being done, that's fun, don't get me wrong, so uh, pretty much Veil of Secrets is up next, remember, as always, you should always get uh, this after every video, I don't know why you would want to skip and don't share that again, because it's a free diamond, like folks, if you skip in this, you just don't complain about diamonds, um, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm able to get... I just wish they had a thing where you could come in and either replay chapters, like a certain amount of chapters would qualify for a free diamond every day. Or, like you could watch, like, 
two chapters a day, get a free diamond for completing it. So imagine restarting Freshman or restarting Perfect Match or restarting, you know, you would it would allow, one, you would play their app, two, it would bring up the amount of viewers and things like that for the app in and of itself to replay for diamonds. Because then, you know, hey, let's say you want that Jack scene with Lily or something and you're just a couple diamonds shy, yeah, there's nothing you can do to gain those diamonds for replaying that scene. Um, like once you complete it, you get one and then you get this, you get another and that's it. Um, I, I have to say that's at least the one thing chapters, as well as some other apps, do perfectly, is that they allow you to log in daily and get some rewards. Um, that pretty much is a fundamental thing for every single app. Every app gives you rewards for logging in daily. They want you, they want to reward you for coming back daily because it's just like coming to a content creator's channel. We want to give you, or at least I do, want to give you the best possible content and quality. So I reward people, you know, by coming to my channel, by giving the best I can, and then also, you know, once in a while, sporadically doing a diamond scene, or I do diamond editions. So by the way, um, if you guys didn't know, that is up on the channel. There, There is a playlist, if you scroll all the way down, um, when you're viewing my channel, there is all of our diamond playlists under one specific playlist. So in case you think, oh man, I lost it. Now also do keep in mind, here's another pro tip, is if you have restricted mode on, on your app or your computer, there are some videos that YouTube has said that aren't PG um, that pretty much are lost in restricted mode. So please make sure that your restricted mode is off. Otherwise, you will lose not just my content, but a lot of other people's content, especially if you're going to App Hero, Vika, Ava, other people. Turn off restricted mode. Um, it's actually, you know, you're going to miss out on some videos because YouTube and their algorithm and their little artificial bullshit is, is flagging videos to be that way. Um, I even feel like doing a, a big video to show you guys how to enable notifications so you won't miss out on any YouTubers. I feel like doing a video, um, like one just a giant video showing you how to turn off restricted mode, what it means, what it does, the whole nine yards. It, it's very harmful, and with YouTube's new algorithm and everything, um, I've pretty much got to the gist of it and the understanding of it, but it's it's very hard. It, it, it hurts viewers. It hurts viewers more than it hurts the content creators. Uh, because without you guys, and without you seeing our content, then you lose our content, and we lose you. That's how we lose. Um, and we lose, you know, you guys lose out too. Um, without further ado, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down description below, links to social media, our Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. And remember to stay tuned for Veil of Secrets next, unless you've already watched it and you're just watching this. Uh, until then, catch you all in the next video. Peace.